Guys, today in the experiments section I have a crazy but interesting idea to catch lightning using a rocket and a tape. Yes, you read that right, I'm going to make the lightning strike where I want it to, but not aimlessly, but to accumulate a lightning discharge with the help of powerful ionisters and lithium batteries and conduct experiments with this huge force of nature. How do you think? With what attempt will I be able to do this? What will we need for this? Well, we will catch lightning on a tape from an ordinary old cassette. No matter how strange it may sound, but it conducts current. And since it conducts current, it means that it can lure lightning. We open. Now I will show you everything. We see two coils inside. By the way, they are very interesting. Look how cool they are. They shine so beautifully. Look, it's just adorable. It's black, if I'm not mistaken it's chromium oxide or something like that. In general, it conducts current, I have already checked. We bought just such a doorbell. Wow, I didn't think it was energized. Of course. And the trick is that it is with batteries like this. We solder the relay. 3 volts and DC power? Yes. A solid state relay, in order to power the fuse with this relay. I'll show you now. Where is our fuses? These are rocket engines, and here we have fuses. Here are such fuses. And of course, we will supply LED indicators. Look what a huge selection of LEDs, it's just fantastic. As a child, I only dreamed about this. Put anyone you see fit. Red, the color of danger. Will it come with a resistor? Of course. Otherwise, it will explode. And here, too, there are so many interesting things, how great. The fuse is assembled, remote fuse, here's the transmitter, the doorbell button, and here a lot of electronics are stuffed and, in fact, the fuse itself is installed, which we will insert into the rocket, checking how it works. Fuse, button. I'm moving away, I press. It's all? Is it so quiet? The fuse worked, everything worked out. The rocket will fly. The next task is to assemble the electric field indicator. Based on this device, we need this indicator in order to know how close the thundercloud is. And when the field strength is sufficient, we will launch the rocket. In order to assemble it, I use a regular indicator screwdriver, it is very sensitive. Even if it's so easy to rub or touch it, it blinks, but now it's not very visible. What are we doing? I connect an antenna to this screwdriver on which a charge, static, will accumulate. And instead of an LED, we connect a milliometer. I mean, this device. And we will look at the arrow, or rather, by how far it deviates, we will understand how close the cloud is, which is charged with a thunderstorm. The device was made in 1959. Wow! Blimey! Look at it! It is written here, let the unity and cohesion of international Marxism, nominalism and proletarian internationalism grow stronger. I'm going to be jailed for this. We are now in Ukraine. For this you can go to jail, that's it, I'm leaving, guys. We are wondering what kind of batteries are here. Electron. These were the batteries in the USSR. Are they still working? This one is a rarity. What is the name of? Look, they are imported, they are called the Centra. Polish. I know funny words in Polish. Wow, look, the weather. And what is this? Like explode with pleasure? <laughs> All right, folks, we finally got this thing together. This is how the screwdriver is soldered. Our super ancient ammeter is connected in series to the LED. And as you can see, if you just touch this miracle screwdriver, then there is a deviation. Now it just picks up a tip from the network. Do you know what it should catch in our case? It must catch the thunderstorm. And now I want to demonstrate to you how it works. First, I press a button on the remote control, the fuse fires in the rocket. It takes off and drags the tape behind it. On a tape in a stormy sky, the potential rises sharply and lightning strikes. It's still falling. Not even half of the reel is unwound. The launch was just fantastic, the film is still falling. It is necessary to take rocket engines of greater power, larger in size, more thrust, 6 newtons is not enough. It seems that 10 newtons is what we need. Of course, this experiment needs rain. After waiting for the right weather, we go hunting for lightning. The arrow only rises a little sometimes, it's barely noticeable. Here, look. Did it respond to lightning? And after that it stopped? And stopped after that. 
See how it jumped? Straight ahead of the railroad crossing. Now we'll see how this thing will react to it. Look, it's closed on this side. It says to pass. As always, these things don't work properly here. But we'll still get through. Is the barrier broken? Yes, broken as usual. What a stern woman is standing there. I wonder if she somehow reacted to our antenna? Well, I figured out a little with this electric field recording device. The arrow gradually moves, grows in jerks, and still grows. And when it rises a little above half, just then the lightning strikes, and after the lightning strike, it drops sharply to zero. That is, the charge in the sky, probably, diverges. Yes, it was, it fell to zero, so it was somewhere. You can see how it wobbles. It is not clear what is happening there in the atmosphere, but atmospheric electricity is already jumping. Unstable. Here, did you see? And immediately drops to zero. Right now it was a very powerful lightning. I don't know if the camera caught it. It flickered noticeably. And that's it. Electricity in the atmosphere is used up. It barely starts to rise, slowly. People confess their love to the city. Here is our super antenna. Now I'll show it to the front camera. We finally got a chair. Batteries get wet in the rain. It's all right, a thunderstorm is rumbling, Pikachu is waiting. The battery, and, in fact, the rocket launcher itself. We press the reset button. Everything is reset. Now let's put it all on that road over there. Take it. Come on, I'll take this thing. Here it is our American rocket. Very powerful. 412 Newtons. Let's go. And we go. You probably shouldn't carry it that far. You just bought new shoes, didn't you? The storm is sparkling. But it's a lot of fun. We will catch lightning. It's lightning catching. Are we going right here? We need to get around, right? Or are we going here? We'll have to go pick it up. That's all. That's it, start. I am connecting the wires. Did you take the fuse? Yes, everything you need is in the bag. The installation is in progress. This thing. So, poor Pikachu is getting wet, waiting for his fate. Contacts are connected, everything is grounded well. There is a lot of corn around us, but that doesn't bother us at all. I don't think anything will burn. Here is our film. Everything is wrapped up. Ah, you wind everything on the go. Should I give American fuses or any? Anyone. No problem. Come on hand. Who is the professional fuser here? Let me rip one off. These back. We put the fuse in the hole. There is. Let's close this stuff. There is. We connect the wires. So, we have two contacts, we tie up and run from here. All right, it's time to get out of here. Now we'll see what happens with it. Done, plug our ears and blow it up. Keeping your mouth open is key, right? We have a fuse here so to speak, in the form of a battery, so that nothing accidentally works. Yeah, I'm putting it in now, a little scary. Can you imagine what it means to summon lightning? I hope that it will bomb, and there come what may. Minus plus. Minus plus, insert. So. The lid may not be closed. Well, we're starting. Wait. No. Nothing. Nothing happens. Maybe you need to open a window? No, it's dangerous. Something has gone wrong. You think the signal isn't coming through the glass? Maybe the fuses got wet? Yes, they could get wet. Shall we go change fuses? In any case, we need to go check what happened. It turned out that our fuse was not working. That is, it beeps, but does not apply voltage to the contact. The LED does not light up. The problem is in the schematic, not a doorbell. It works, and the fuse scheme is faulty. Now let's try to open it and see what happened. Well, who could know that catching lightning is so difficult? This thing let us down, this electric fuse. Why, what happened to it is unknown. For some reason we do not understand, a lithium battery spontaneously sat down in it. Therefore, we cannot ignite a fuse, and a rocket cannot take off. 
As you can see in the frame, now we are running to pick up a chair. Of course, the weather is fierce today. And look how dirty it is because of the downpour. Guys, a thunderstorm is starting again, we are on the way, look at what a cloud, the leaves are flying, the weather is just what we need, and we're going to catch lightning. Show how scary it looks on the phone. So here it is, on the phone everything is on fire. We are approaching the epicenter of the storm. From all sides it's raining cats and dogs. Guys, it's terrible, it's pouring down a very heavy downpour and now we, like psychos, will run to install all the necessary devices. I don't even know if it makes sense to take a camera with you, it will be flooded with water. I hope we will meet again. Guys, this is what we need. The wind is in the right direction, we are standing right. Everything fits perfectly. Look, it fell. The lamp got loose, it's a pity, it was a necessary thing. Well, then we will be without a lamp. Lightning flashes, we turn on the fuse. I'm cold already, are you too? Guys, catching lightning is a dangerous job. Very wet. We have everything turned off, is there no voltage here? So, Guys, this is a field. Lightning flash is so scary here. Horror. Activity is good. A very strong thunderstorm is coming. Let's go. Let's run faster. The very moment has come. I insert the battery. Now the rocket will fly. I hope we don't go deaf here. I put in the battery. Here. Here it is, the moment of truth. Recording goes everywhere, everything works. Like yes. Then I press. It's gone. But the lightning didn't work for some reason. Yes, it flew, but did you see how it was spinning? There is. Like this. But there is nothing. I don't know if you saw it or not, but for some reason it went sideways. Lightning worked somewhere else. It's a pity. I think the tape is broken. Do you think the tape broke? Yes, we have made a grave mistake. We didn't tie it up? In general, the tape has stalled. You will see later on the video. And so the rocket flew crookedly. Oh, you need to try a copter. Guys, this catching of lightning is a tin. Look at this, I'm just opening the door. And there is a river, just a river flowing. So much water. How did it break? Does it look like it's been cut off or burned out? No, it probably broke. Do you see what it looks like? Like it's broken. Yes, strange. When we tested, everything was fine. Why it is now torn is not at all clear. Maybe you need to strengthen the beginning somehow with wire? Well, show it to the camera. Wow, why so much water? Take them off, you don't need them anymore. Only in order not to go barefoot. Probably, that's the reason, the tape did not unwind. Why didn't poor Pikachu even get wet? No, he's wet. The lamp was torn off. The doorbell works great remotely. The doorbell does not care about rain at all. It works properly. And is there sufficient distance? We might be a little deaf. Normally, if the windows are closed, then we won't go deaf, it's check. He needs to go even further. No, this is too close. Our glass will be broken by a shock wave. What about normal voltage? I have nowhere to look. Look at the thunder map, please. And it won't be taken down on us. Let's blow it up now. Which way is the wind blowing? We did not take into account the wind. It blows sideways. That's better. Well, I'm with you. All is ready. The cannon is loaded. Where is our button? Pasha, what can you tell us? The storm map shows that we are a little behind our destination. I can say that I am very glad that I was not killed in the process. Kamrad, are you ready? I'm already ready, let's go. Here it is our button for the fuse. There was already a chair with a rocket and a magnetic tape. We insert the battery, this is our fuse. It works right away, look. Quiet. Will you press the button? See how it flies now. It can only blind you. But it's better to watch, otherwise you'll miss everything. All cameras are recording. Ready? Press. Press. Flew. Don't hold on to the button, just press. Don't hold on, press. What's wrong? 
see, lightning doesn't come easy. Maybe we need to change location or use a quadcopter. We still need to make a foil balloon later, inflate it with helium and let it go. By the way, this is a good idea. It definitely won't let you down. Foil weather balloon. This is a cool idea. This is such a stupid system, you have to run every time. Every time you have to run back and forth, we need a copter. It's better with a copter. Guys, we decided to try to press right next to the car. It is working. Is the battery dead again? Probably this one is not working. Fuse. And check if there is voltage. Does the hair burn through? Try to burn hair. Hair? What hair? Well, that's how you did it, remember? I understand. You know? Of course I know. What do you think is the best way to catch lightning? Is it better to do it with a rocket, a kite, a balloon, or a drone? Write in comments. And our experiments don't stop there. The next episode is already available in early access on Patreon. This is how you support the release of our videos.